every day when I get home from work. Holy cow. Hey Google, turn on garage. Right on. Home sweet home. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bills. I'm your host, Bills. Been a minute since I've been on? It has. I had something planned for you tonight. I was going to finish working on the scooter. I've been working on my Outstorm scooter, getting some uh, new tires put on it, welding up the rear end because, as you know, I'm just a little guy. I seem to break shit all the time. So I had to do some extra welding on this thing this year. And for you that have been on the channel before, uh, know which scooter I'm talking about. It's a good old Outstorm scooter, boys. Right here. There it is. How you doing? So anyways, we've got our all pulled apart and I got the batteries out of it. I put on some more sensitive road tires here. So these are smoother here. So when you're on the road, it doesn't make so much noise. Now, let me tell you what, these tires right here were nothing but a wrestle to get on. A four ply tire on a small rim with no wheel relief is a hard job to do. But as you can see here, I welded up some extra supporting in here. I welded in here some more. I did some of this and that and the other friggin' things. There's the old tires. They weren't completely done, but they're getting pretty much done. There's not much tread left on that, as, as you can see. So they had to go, but those tires, not fun to change. So if anybody has an electric scooter and they want to change tires, they're not fun to change. Those things are a pain in the ass, they are. Had a good day at work today. We did pick up some OSA microphones. How you doing? For the old uh, iPhone. I was gonna try them on the GoPro, but this adapter won't go into the port because the port's recessed in on the GoPro. Nice job, GoPro. Good job on that. I put the media mod on the GoPro, and then I plug it in, and uh, it still doesn't work. So I need to get an extension for my USB-C port. So that I can't do. So we got screws we're missing for the deck, which I ordered. We got some new LEDs coming for the plate because they broke, which I ordered. So we're waiting for that stuff to come in. And then I can kind of get that together. I did put up some Christmas lights this year and I'm trying to make, oh, I did get a new grill for the Chevy truck from good old Sarian Auto Wreckers. They had brand new ones sitting up on the shelf. So I grabbed her for my daily, cause as you know, my daily driver there, the grill's dicked. I'll show you. She's just, if as long as you can see, she's just cocked. So as you can see here, all the chrome is peeling all the way across. I got pieces missing, pieces missing. It's just, it's just a mess. So when I see the hang in there, I was like, I'll take that. This is just a Chevy symbol, but I took it off because I got a carbon fiber wrap it and then I'll put it on the new grill and then we'll pop the new grill into the old daily. I am uh, putting up a few lights this year, more than normal actually. Kind of got a little carried away with some lights, but I'm not even done yet. But as you can see, I got lights, you know, all the way around the whole house. I got some stuff hanging on that roof. Got some lights there. Got a kitty in the window. How you doing kitty? Some lights on these trees down here lights over here lights up there lights out here some candy canes some lights around the trees some other lights on the trees i get some more lights coming for over there and over here i got uh lights around this tree i picked up a joy sign there today off marketplace look at that joy how you doing i know a girl named joy she wasn't much joy though, let me tell you. I got my pond heated. It's doing good. As you know in the last video I showed you that. I gotta take the screen off soon because the trees are almost down. So we gotta take them off soon. Oh, I gotta get some wood for the fire too. Cause it's out. We haven't got any wood going right now. So here we go. See, I thought I was gonna come home today, make a video doing something with you but instead nope it's just me gibber gabbering away did i tell you that i got the tarp on the trailer finally got the cover on the trailer here just so you know yeah that's still sitting there it looks pretty good though sitting there my wood's wet jim 
rig. Oh well, let's just grab one piece for now. See what happens. Stacy's working all night. Mel's not feeling good. She's in there on the couch. I'm not feeling 100% still. Well, actually I shouldn't say that. I'm feeling pretty good, but my stomach is upset on and off. Anybody else feel like that lately? It's probably the COVID shot. Dicked us. Injected us with diseases. Oh, careful. Look at them tires. I just can't, can't not look at them. They're gonna be awesome for the road. I can't wait to try it next summer. I'll try it before then. Friggin' right I will. But I have the bolts busted off for that, the cover that goes on. So I had to order some new bolts for that. I had to put new bolts in here because they busted off. I had to weld that little bracketry in there because it was loose. I'm just wearing it right out, Captain. Something like me, getting wore out. How do I look? Do I look like Santa yet? I'm getting there. Greg got up some lights across the road. I think we need to put more time into that. No offense, Greg. Put some time into your life, would you? So there's a little contest going on in Wyoming. And I think I might uh, enter it. If I don't lose my house before then. I like my lights. They're looking pretty decent. But I need more. I don't have enough yet. What a shitty night. It's raining out and miserable. Hey, if any of you watch my channel and you like, like camping guys like you know van life type stuff look up van life plus i watch this guy on there matt he's uh he's from calgary and uh it's actually a pretty good dude by the sounds of him so i've been watching him lately so if you like that kind of stuff oh hatch 61 he puts out some good videos and some cool stuff. You'd like him, Hot 61. He just uh, got involved with this company from Canada that sells all sorts of camping gear. And it's pretty cool, because they go in and out of the store there and they check out all that. So check it out, Hot 61. You might like that. How you doing, bud, by the way? Check out Hot 61's channel too, why wouldn't you? He does all sorts of camping out of his van and tents and stuff that's pretty good. I like watching him too. I've got a couple videos behind I have to watch, actually, if you hatch. So I'll get that done. For your right, I will. I gotta take the truck back apart. I gotta pull the header off because the header's leaking, so we gotta get that done. I wanna put the bigger throttle body back on it. These throttle bodies here. This is a big one. This is for like a big block throttle body. And uh, the engine just, when I floor it, it just wants to fall on its face or stall or whatever. Somebody told me it's a spacer in between the throttle body, but I can't take it out because then my breather don't fit. So we're going to try to put that back on and see what happens. Yeah, we are. So that's going to be a winter job. I'll take you along for that. I got to get back into YouTube. I don't want to quit YouTube, but I haven't had the ambition that I can normally have for YouTube. So it's not like I quit. It's just I'm kind of... Step back a little, if you know if you know what I'm saying, for a bit to try to recoup. Like everybody else, we got I got some home life things going on. Nothing serious, just you know the kid having a hard time with her going to school right now and stuff like that. So it's really kind of wearing me out a little bit there. But we'll get that straightened out soon enough, hopefully. So we're working on that. She goes to high school next year, and if I can't get her to go to school now, next year I'm in trouble. And if you don't get an education in this world, she's going to be in trouble. But she can live at home for as long as she wants. She can stay here until I'm dead. I don't care. And then when I'm dead, she can have the house. Because she's not going to be able to afford to buy one. So I'll just make an apartment downstairs with my YouTube proceeds. <laughs> and, you know, she can live downstairs. I'll move my office back upstairs into her room. We'll figure something out. We'll figure it out, Jim. That's what life's all about. Figuring it out. We'll figure it out together. Shoot me a message if you want to figure it out with me. So I'd be game for that. Man, I really want to work on something, but I have nothing to work on right now. I'm like out of work to work on. Oh well, it happens. Are you even watching me? Probably not. Oh well, it happens. Sometimes you run out of work to work on. 
I really do want to get the scooter back together and try these tires on the road though. I can't keep think I just I sleep about it, I work about it, and I, I think about it constantly. I want to try my tires. Who's that? The neighbors. So it's ones that like to stare at me. Good people though, don't get me wrong. I don't have to worry about somebody breaking into my house because they got hawk eyes over there. I don't need my cameras really because there are my cameras. They're both retired and stay at home all day and look out the window. It's not a bad thing to do, really, when you think about it. I wish I could sit at home all day and look out the window. If only it paid good. I'm trying to get this goo off the deck because when you get this deck back together, we're going to need some better goo. There's a few new scooters I'd love to try, but they're just so damn expensive anymore. I'd like to do some more scooter rides with you, but the problem with scooter rides is I can't find the proper gear yet to give you a nice smooth video. It's always jerking around like crazy, and that doesn't make a very good video when it's jerking all over the place. But we'll figure it out. I wish there was a way to put both batteries in this deck too, but there isn't. Unless I cut her in half of a stretcher and I'm not doing that. Because as you know, I'm running dual batteries right now because I'm so damn heavy that the old scooter ruski here don't carry me for long on one battery. So I gotta run dualies. I gotta lose some friggin' weight. I'm not over 300 though. I'm still sitting at about 260, but it's still too much. 260, too much. So there's a plastic thing that goes here, a foam thing that goes here, and it keeps all the rain and water out of here. And it fucked up and ripped and everything else. So I bought some new stuff off Amazon. Right here. And I'll be able to roll that out. And it'll give me my new little kind of seal that I need. See, it's like a little foam. That's what was on it. So we got to finish doing that. I can't wait to put her back together, Captain. Like I said, I'm waiting for LEDs so I can, you know, get that going again. Speaking of LEDs, where's the plug for that fucking thing? Let me guess. Oh, here it is. There it is. See, the plug broke off the LEDs that were in it, so it kind of cocked everything right over on me. WD-40 lid. But anyways, there you go. I, I did something with you. I rubbed off the goo on the goo thing there on the scooter ruski. So at least we did something together, right? Can't say we didn't do nothing. Let me know what you think of the Christmas lights. I'll show you more as I get more because we're going to get more. And I'll show you the scooter as we get the scooter in. And then we'll show you the truck as we get ripping that thing back apart again a little bit. Not much, just a little. I'm going to check the rear end too. It's making some noises back there. But other than that, Wifey Poo's e-bikes there are working really good still. That thing's a little fun little machine it is. And they're like 1800 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link below in case you want to get one of them. That way you can check them out. They're about 1800 where, you know, any other e-bike shop, you got to pay like 2600 so it's not top quality, but it does what it's supposed to do, which you want. This thing right now is about, I think they're about 2,900 bucks right now for that one. I'm like, Frank, I wanted to get the bigger and better one, but they're like 3,200 bucks or something. So if you're watching this outstorm, send me a damn scooter or send me another new one and maybe I'll give this one away on my channel. That'd be a good idea. This thing's been solid. God, I'm having withdrawals. I love riding this thing. If you guys have one, you'd understand what I'm talking about. Sure, I look like a big, dumb, fat goof riding it, but hey, who cares? That's what I say. Maybe we'll have to weld the front up a little bit. I don't know if that's a crack or if that's just dirt. I think it's, it might be a fucking crack, Jim. You better weld that up. Oh yeah, we better weld that up. I can't tell what's going on there. I need magnifying glass. I think it is a crack. No problem. Cracks are no problem because I have a welder. So we'll run a bead down there too, just in case. Because last thing you want to do is crash when you're doing 70 kilometers an hour on one of these things. Friggin' right it is. But I'll leave you on that note. Glad you're all still here with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, because I always like that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.